At 95 years old, Kraft's Oreo is the most popular cookie in the world, enjoyed in more than 100 countries throughout North and South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, the Middle East, and Australia. The Oreo cookie is a truly global product. It is sold in a consistent form, with very few exceptions, in all regions of the world. The Oreo cookie is universally appealing. The unique flavor translates across borders. And the sandwich cookie, with the fun of a cookie and cream, uh, makes Oreo a real fun eating experience. Though the Oreo brand is popular around the world, adjustments to product, packaging, and promotion are sometimes necessary to match consumer tastes and expectations in each country. In China, for example, we have a lightly sweetened version of Oreo, which has 27% less sugar. And that's really a response to consumers' desire and taste preferences for a less sweet product. Um, in the case of Venezuela, milk chocolate biscuits are more appealing to consumers than the dark, intense cocoa that we're familiar with in the U.S. and in some other markets. And so we have introduced and successfully launched a, chocolate, uh, a milk chocolate version of Oreo. Packaging is a feature that can change greatly from market to market. In the U.S., the 18-ounce size of Oreo is the predominant package form. Um, and that's really because in the U.S. many consumers are more accustomed to shopping at large format stores. Um, they have large pantries at home. They tend to shop, you know, more weekly versus daily. In other countries, there's a variety of different formats, often smaller store formats, whether it's the um, kiosks in Brazil or the um, uh, self-service convenience stores in China, um, or even the street vendors in Venezuela. And so in those countries, larger packages don't make as much sense. The stores don't have the space, and consumers don't have the pantry space in their homes. Sometimes packaging adjustments are based on what consumers are familiar with. In many countries, cookies are packaged in a single row that's covered with foil, which creates a tube-like shape. So Oreos are packaged that way as well. Another packaging adjustment relates to the branding of the product itself. While the Oreo name and logo remain consistent, the company affiliation for the product sometimes changes. So the Oreo is always the brand name for the cookie product itself, um, but we often partner that with a different parent company name. So for example, in China, uh, it, the brand is Kraft Oreo, uh, because Kraft has become a trusted name in the, in the market in China. In Canada, consumers have a long history and affiliation with the Mr. Christie brand, um, which they associate Oreo with. So it's Christie Oreo cookies in Canada. One of the greatest challenges in global marketing is creating promotions. It's very important for marketers to understand cultural subtleties. Campaigns that are effective in one country might be misunderstood or lack relevance in another. Oreo's brand message is providing moments of childlike delight. Um, this is particularly evident in the twisting, licking, and dunking in milk ritual that is passed on from generation to generation. Um, historically, we've portrayed that in the U.S. and in markets where Oreo has been around for a long time as a parent or a grandparent passing that ritual on to a special child. In countries where Oreo is newly introduced, there isn't a heritage of people who have been familiar with the brand, so there isn't a brand heritage to pass down from parent to child. And so we found that it makes more sense for us to have the child introduce the ritual into the home. So that might be the child introducing twisting and licking and dunking to the parent um, or perhaps to a sibling or a friend. The ways in which Oreos are promoted are also customized to meet each country's needs. In China, brands advertised on TV are seen as more credible and of a higher quality. So Kraft focuses a large percentage of their marketing on TV advertising in China. In a country like Venezuela, by contrast, Outdoor advertising is more effective. In Venezuela, we tend to use more outdoor marketing. Because the consumers are on the go and have busy lifestyles, we tend to find one of the best places to reach them is during their drive time. So we have um, oftentimes painted the sides of buildings or have enormous billboards that are very simple, high-impact visuals of an Oreo dunking into a glass of milk. Marketing a product globally allows for huge growth potential within a brand, and understanding cultural parameters is the key to a successful campaign. Oreo is an intrinsically universal product, but understanding and focusing on the cultural differences and local differences has really helped to make Oreo the number one cookie in the world.